It's been great to hear from um, the Bible, from Acts in the story of how Philippi and the church in Philippians was planted, and uh, to reflect on that a little bit in prayer, some of the themes that have been provoked. So I'd invite you to pray with me as we talk to Jesus. Jesus, thank you that you're the Lord of the church, that you are the one uh, when people confess you as Lord and Saviour, that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. From that affirmation, that declaration, that deep-seated conviction, you're able to build us and work with us and establish your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, that you are at work that the story of Acts is the continued story of, of what you're doing through your people. We thank you for Paul and those that he met and those who believed the gospel and through them a new place of worshipping witness, the church was founded in Philippi. And that which we see from the first century, we, we know has been uh, the story of, of you at work through your people in generation upon generation. And we thank you that we're part of that history and that legacy and this living story. I pray and just ask that you, Holy Spirit, would help us at this moment to remember the story of God in our experience. of how you came to and through the story of Jesus, his death and resurrection, that you changed the heart of Lydia, someone with power and prestige and wealth, a trader, a merchant, a leader in her community. And she believed. And you encountered the slave girl, someone who was oppressed, the victim of, of being used, overcome by circumstances and, and the presence of, of evil in her life and, and seen as, as a commodity. And yet your grace reached her. And, and even the jailer, that cider with the Roman powers, someone probably cruel, not known for compassion. And yet, the good news came to him and his household, and they believed. Let's take a moment to remember how God has been and is at work in your life, and, and take a moment to give thanks to know that he hasn't left you or forsaken you, to know that you, that the Lord is close at hand, to know that the Lord chooses people like you and me because he loves us. And we say thank you. And we thank you that he works through gatherings of believers. It's also called the church. We thank you for Philippi and we, we thank you for what you're doing amongst our fellowship. Again, just take a few moments to remember and recall how you've come to be here of, of what the Lord is doing and, and, and how, what he stirred in you, what you saw of God at work. And take a few moments to pray for our fellowship for our faithfulness to the call and mandate God has put upon us, the vision. To know that we are together in this, called to the purposes of Jesus in this time at this place. And we pray more, Lord. We thank you for our church family in this area, for our sisters and brothers in Star Valley Baptist Church and Bidford-upon-Avon Baptist Church, The Barn. We thank you, Lord, for partnership with, um, with uh, Hook, Hook Norton and Bloxham over the years, and we thank you for what you're stirring and doing in Stow on the World. 
We pray blessing upon our friends and family and we pray more, Lord. And we are looking and eager for many people to turn and say, what must I do to be saved? How can I get to know Jesus? How can I grow in this thing of following the Lord Jesus Christ? And thank you that the story that you're at work and telling and writing and perfecting in us is happening today. Your will be done in our lives, Lord. And to take the next step of faith as your disciples in the life that you've called us to live and how you've called us to serve together. And Holy Spirit, help us to do this joyfully, living in the fullness of life that you give. In Jesus' name. Amen.